Hey everybody, this is the store dude, and you probably can't see too much because of the dang sun, but we are doing a new mall tour today, which is also a dead mall, which is called Paradise Valley Mall in, I believe, Paradise Valley, Arizona. This is one of the anchors, the Dillards, and let's just zoom in on that real quickly. The Sears Car Care that is not open, as is the Sears. It has a sign up. Why? I did not get why. And right there is a bar, well, a, a bakery and restaurant called Chompies. You can't even see it. And right there is the merchandise pickup for the Sears. I still can't get over the sign. So, I'm going to pause the video and then we'll get inside. Okay, so now we are going up another entrance because he just had a snack real quick before we filmed the wall so you definitely going to see that that we're going in through the food court entrance and here we are going inside the mall and first impressions not really a lot of people you can see that there's lots of Empty seats, no problem find a table in here. And oh here's the first place. Tolly's Philly Steakery. Still open. Then a mom and pop food place. Mom none of mom and pop food place. Oh none of mom and pop food place. So many places. And also that rock structure. That is actually a fountain, the rock structure. And um, let's wait for these mall walkers, I believe, to pass through here. I think this was unfortunately the Zap Arcade. Unfortunately for retail guilty, this was the Zap Arcade. And it closed. Rip Zap Arcade. Another mom and pop place. And that is the snackery place that we went to. The camera's a bit dirty. That's, okay, I just made it a bit worse. Okay, then just pause the video. Okay, there we go. Now the camera isn't dirty. Yeah. Oh, there's a cool Wetzel's Pretzels because it's like a little kiosk over there. You could also see the Dairy Queen. But right here is a Villa Italian Kitchen, almost like the one at Metro Center. And let's go through here real quick. Right here is a kind of cool Sal Panda Express. And it's. it's oh, sorry. Put to here is a place called Zulie's, which doesn't seem like it's operating anymore. Now let's go up this thing and let's get a workout. No. Down there, there's a couple of other abandoned places, including that place right there. You could also tell it used to be another Zonies. Zonies kids or regular Zonies. I don't know, but right there is also what I would call an anchor. It's the mall closet in Anchor, which is called Picture Show Theater. And here's a mom and pop boutique. Also, almost looks like the creepy lady from Daniel's Jewelers. Okay, I'm ready to pause the video real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, anyway, right here is another mom and pop place, which seems like it's moving on or moving out doesn't don't know but right here is also a dust sports with the huge bats look for the big bats at metro center no not at metro center this time and it's called gold parts it may still be a dead mall but it has a verizon with the new s10 plus apple is so dead on that they cannot beat that phone there's another abandoned place and Okay, and right here was a recently closed place. This is this place used to be called the Body Shop, and then this is another anchor, which is the Macy's. And it's I'll get a better look um, in a little bit, but first we're going to go down here because I never did actually see this area yet. It's just the Sunglass Hunt. Can't pronounce that bad. I think this was the Zales to lose. I don't know. Architects, it looks familiar as some sort of jewelry place. I just do not know which one. Looks like a place like 
getting gutted out, maybe? Closing? I don't know. But so, no, it's really replaced. Oh, this place is also really cool. It may just be a teaching and learning stuff place. But look at this cool connects, connects thing. It's like a huge Ferris wheel. This is really cool. So it must be some Lego power functions in here. No. And the architecture also looks familiar as this being something else. A American Eagle Outfitters at first. And this was, uh, no, not was, it is still here, which is the Express, and, and Express Men, yay! Reflexology place, the first one in our tour. Hmm, I don't really know what this place was. Also looks familiar. And right here, do not want to get people. Right here is a Tilly, so it's, no one is in. Understandable for dead mall. Huh, uh-oh. I do not like the look of that sign. But everything must go. I do not like the look of that sign. Seems like New York and company is going about. There's a sports place. And, and there's the bungee jump. You could also see that the skylights are rather impressive in here. And wow, yeah. You see like the New York and company will last much longer. It's a place called Home Mart. Yeah. Can't not read cursive very well, but it's the best I think. Who gives a mode? And guys, this is not the payless. There is still a payless in here that is on its last six days, and which will also be in this video. I'm gonna make this another two in one vid. And right here's another abandoned store advertising Macy's. And then the Spencer's. Yeah. And then another abandoned place. <gasps> oh my gosh. You can see the label scars. Oh my god. KB Toys. And KB Toys still remains here. Wow. I also remember getting this in my original Paradise Valley, but I wasn't really happy with the first I did get because I wasn't really able to get the mall's full glory. But KB Toy still remains. Wow. And I have been noticing that I've been like repeating the same. Oh. Okay, well, anyway. This seems like it was also recently closed, Dad. This is the. This used to be the finish line. Yep. I don't see. You probably saw men as one of the signs that is still here. Okay, wait for these people to come. Okay, and then here's lens crafters, more empty shops, rip off dippin' dots, amazing. And then photo booth. So anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, I've, I've been noticing in some of my videos, and I've also got a complaint that I've been repeating the same exact things uh, too many times. And so I've, I've noticed that in my videos. I've gotten a couple of complaints, so I'm trying to do less of that. Here's a kiosk that does not seem like it's been up. Oh, darn it. Got my dad. Okay. Well, anyway, here's seen like a kiosk that has not been operating for a long time. I do know that there's abandoned Starbucks down here, so I want to go get that. Also down here is a Claire's. Yay! See, like, see like the little Wi-Fi lounge in here? Oh, right here is a directory. Cool. So right here, you could also see the mall's directory. You can see that they took off Sears on the directory, but not the main sign in general. Right here is the anchors. You can see it at Costco, Dillard, Stacey Penny, Macy's, and yes, you do call it an anchor. The picture show movie theater. Oh, actually the Starbucks just turned into something else. Actually, it's an alteration place. And then energy spa. So let's keep on going. I believe I got everything down there. Okay. Oh, or maybe it's down here. Can't exactly remember, but here's a tiny, <laughs> more tiny, tiny directory. I think you're better off using the regular directory. Hmm, more empty shops and also Street Depot Encore. And the one busy part in the mall, the play area. Yay! The Street Depot Encore. Oh, yep, repeated it. Oh, right here. 
K Jewelers. Doesn't really look like the architecture that K Jewelers would use, but just if it was it, it was it. Yeah, there's another mall entrance down there. You can just see no one coming in through the entrance. See, it's almost as big as the other one that I did. Oh yeah, and also here's the Daisy Penny. Do not want to get my dad again. Right here is another anchor, which is the Daisy Penny. But I'm surprised to know that they are closing a little bit of stores. None of them are in my state, thankfully. Yeah. This logo may not be around for too much longer. Let's see, four inside JC Penny. It's probably not gonna be around too much more longer either. And I I did not get these stores. This is the DNC, which is which um actually correction in my Metro Center video. Correction, right next to the Phoenix Soap Factory, um on the second level, level near the Sears. On the second level. Right next to the Phoenix Soft Factory, next to the Phoenix Soft Factory, was a D and C, and that was closed. Closed recently, I remember. And then right here is the Auntie Anne's. Nope. We, we opted for pretzels this time. Thank you, Auntie Anne's. First, first area has two stores open next to it. I still want my zoom in. Darn it. Okay. Now, I, I, I also forgot to mention men's crafters, and I did only get these doors, but I also used this area to just show all the cool skylights in here, and the cool ceilings, there's the little kid things walking kind of fast through this corner since, we, since this hallway, since we've already seen it. And my dad is following me. Um, and then pause the video real quick. Okay. That was a bit far back. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't even seem like. Yeah. I'm probably the only one that's talking down here. Hmm. Yep, no one inside that store. Yeah, so let's walk a bit faster through this area. And also, um, I may actually just take this time to also note that I have a very amazing video out, and this is kind of getting the shout out to myself, kind of. But, but what I have on my channel is a abandoned what I called it was the Magnificent Abandoned Toys R Us. And if you look at the thumbnail, you can see that why I call it Magnificent is because it has a sign up. And, and get this, it's the oldest logo I could remember. And there's like all kinds of stuff in there. I don't really want to spoil it, but I used to say that that is probably my best video yet so amazing please go go check that out i also have a babies of us video which is the two in one video that i did oh easter bunny photos hello buddy okay so we all went down there so i don't need to go down there again yeah huh that's actually a nice creative way to do a clock as well Okay, so now we could get a better look at the Macy's down here. And also the hot topic, not usually what a hot topic would look like. But whatever, it's a hot topic. Still remains in the mall. Ooh, candy. Candy, yay! Right here is Fuzz Wigs Candy Factory. Forgot to get the fuzz. Well, remember not to, f remember not to forget the fuzz. I also got corrected in my in a couple of my videos for that. Yeah, not usually what a hot topic looks like at a regular mall, does it? It's just like look at that magnificent entrance. Use that word again. Then then there's a nail spa. Splendid. I may also call it that. Splendid. Oh, and there's another mom and pop place in another kiosk. Maybe kiosk is it? Kiosks. Okay, there you go. In this mall, those hills with diamonds. 
You know, it's a dead mall still. Lots of kiosks. Here's a rip-off. Um, seems like a rip-off sleep number. But it mainly has Beauty West and Soda Hall. Well, um, what is it called? Sleep number has... Has whatever. Um, um, their mattresses. God, I can't get my words out. Chol children's place will not probably last two months longer. Guys, like right behind me, cannot get him on camera because what you call it is camera shy. He's a bit camera shy. And there's Hollywood Photo Studios, which is another mom and pop place. SM Fashion, another mom and pop place. Do not really like the look of this sign right next to the mannequin. Goodbye, sale. Everything must go. Do not look like the sign of that. This is also a one floor mall, so it is going to kind of be also a bit easier for me to film since it's not going to take a long time. But it's going to take this time. Like I said, all these amazing skylights. It's so beautiful. Also, I also got wood. I'm not, not this moving place, but the ski shoes right here closed recently, just like the body shop, which I mentioned. And there's another band place. I think I recognize this, too. But, yeah. And right here, of course, is Hollister. You always got to have your Hollister. Yeah, you could definitely see the arch that's the architecture that they use. Q fashion. You gotta always have a Q fashion. And yes, just like in the Metro Center video, you can still have your perfume, ladies. With the Bath and Body Works, not really the newest sign, but Bath and Body Works. Ah, still smell it. Those vans, which is also in Metro Center, like really right next to um, Bath and Body Works, kind of the same exact theme. And Champ Sports as well. Kind of the same exact thing at Metro Center too. I didn't really get a good look at the Champ Sports in the last video. And so I got a good look at it this time. More whip off Dippin' Dots. Uh, Zoomies, which has a really weird architecture. Not want to get my dad, but right there's the cell phone kiosk. Yeah, see, look at this. That's honestly Dippin' Dots. This used to now here's the closest stores that I know what they were. Oh, here's a abandoned Pacific somewhere, but there was an abandoned industrial wine shop. Do not want to get people. I do want to get this, and I don't know what that place was. And then this was Wet Seal. I know what my stores look like. That's for sure. <laughs> I know a lot of mall stores because I've been to lots of malls. Yeah, Sears. Not in this mall. Take your sign down. It's not in this mall anymore. So sad. And this used to be Sulisus. Why I'm going to tell a funny story about the Sears. They almost, it almost survived the bankruptcy list. But then, Don Sears decided to add another couple of stores onto the list. And this was one of them. There's another corridor. And I think that's what you call them. Oh, there's another entrance to the industrial white shop. And then down here is Vision Works, if you could see that. There's actually abandoned at Metro Center, so that's not something that's themed with Metro Center, but no less, yeah. And honestly, this mall has a lot of things that are themed to Metro Center. And I'm going to spend a couple minutes looking at the seals over here. It's, 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 it's not open, guys. It's not open. There's a couple of places I recognize game hills. Not hills from Ames. Perfume me. Perfume me, me, me. Not perfume mama. Oh, the second reflex Aldi place. Yeah, you can just see the seals. Looks, I wasn't actually able to capture this. To be honest with you, I kept a promise saying I was going to do the seals tour. December, but I never did do it. Which uh, this is because of a reason I do not want to mention. But um, so look at the magnificent sign. I want one of these letters if they 
take down the sign. Oh man, it looks so sad there, guys. Oh man. Oh man, I hate. I, I really hate seeing the sight. This makes me just want to curl up in the corner and cry. <laughs> The mall train, ah. but here is fast fix. No one is in it. Hopefully, these people realize that there is history right here. It's been nice knowing ya. Yeah. Right here. Oh, ah, gotta watch out. The mall train. I just hope these people realize that they're passing by history from 1979 when the Sears opened up its doors. Been nice to yeah. But here was a place that used to be called Glow Golf, but apparently changed the name to Lunar Golf. Yeah, because this is like the last hallway that we're doing. And then this is also where the Payless is, down this hallway. So. This is where the Payless liquidation is going to come in. And here's more abandoned stores. Huh. What was this? I can't really read the label, Scott, but if I took more time to read it, maybe I could read it. Yeah. Made on planet Earth. Well, all my videos are made on, too. And apparently I got word from Retail Archaeology. Shout out to Retail Archaeology. Um, that this was a place called Game Days, which was like a, another little arcade. <sighs> Come on, Florida. Resist, 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 resist. Hey, buddies. Are you going to subscribe to my channel? Hello, buddies. That's why I kind of say the dogs. Hello, buddies. Hey. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Victoria's Secret Beauty. Never saw that before in regular Victoria's Secret. Two Victoria's Secrets in one. Yes, and I also gave a retail fact about Victoria's Secret in the Metro Center video. It's not doing too hot. I had to close 52 stores in 2018 and 2019. I also read this article that included a cluster of stores, not this Milani World Macchiato. I think I also did a good job of pronouncing that. And... I will also go in there. You can definitely see it's the last six days. And so, actually, I, I also decided I'm not going to do two and one. I'm going to do that separately. Yeah. And it's another abandoned store. It kind of has the same exact style when the, um, like, it's when the Fiesta Mall Payless was open near the, it was also near the Sears. Yeah. And so then go pause the video, go tell my dad I'm not doing the pay less. Okay. So, um, here's another um, phone case place. And then right here is, I, well, I thought this was where the train came out. Indoor playground. And look at the Stillards. The Stillards is really cool too. And guys, I may be doing a live stream soon, to be honest with you. I may be doing the live stream soon, actually. So right here is a um, v v virtual reality place. Okay, got my wood out. Mugs coffee. Not Starbucks coffee, that's probably what killed the Starbucks. So I'm not actually going to end the video outside like I used to do. Here's the third reflexology place. Here's the inside entrance of the Tompies that we when looked at and so oh ha huh, look watch out see that they obviously sell watches because of their funny slogan so and that was the last door oh nope that was not the last door i forgot t-mobile there's not not really a lot of wireless stores in here and mall and the final thing to mention is more skylights and stores that will never get rented so now this is officially going to end a tour of paradise valley mall comment like and subscribe 
and um, I'll see you guys later with the Payless liquidation. And stay at Toys R Us, kid. Peace. Okay, guys, so um, this is a little update on my um, Paradise Valley Mall video. Um, um, yes, um, I know you've seen the white screen, but anyway, um, I just, um, I'm not going to actually do the Payless because right when I got inside the Payless, when I went to go do my separate video, I got like the first aisle when the lady said, hey kid, no filming. And yep, you guys know what happened. I got busted. So, <laughs> so, um, yep, no Payless video, by the way. And, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.